this video, I'm going to be going over what I believe to be the best way to be running dollar right now. Now, if you want to get my entire defensive ebook on dollar completely updated and revamped, it's available on our Patreon. Patreon members get access to all of my offensive, defensive ebooks, everything, all of our updates for just $10. There's a link in the description if you want to sign up for that and um, really encourage you to do it. I think it's the best way to get better at Madden. It gives you the knowledge that you need to win at the highest of levels. Now, we're talking today specifically about dollar and a defensive style, and it really kind of highlights something that I've talked about for the last couple of years. There's a couple of really big, like what I'd call 30,000 foot level principles about defense in Madden that are super, super important to understand. At the, at the very tip top of the, of, the, of the mountain so far defensively it is to try to constrain the most amount of space possible. Now, you can do this with where your players align pre-snap. You can do this with the zones or coverages that you run post-snap. You can do this with the pressure you send. You can also do this based off of where on the field that they are. Um, this is why it's very hard to score man 24 in the red zone because there's a limited amount of space. The more the space gets limited, the harder it becomes to score. Score, okay, so that being said, that those kind of thirty thousand foot level principles are what make this defense so good. So what you're going to do, or what I'd recommend to do, is in your audibles, go ahead, and I'm in the Chiefs playbook. You could do this out of Chiefs. I think 49ers has a dollar. You could also do it out of four six and uh, multiple defense. But what I like to do, I'm going to put DB Fire two in my audibles, in my L one audible. I'm going to put free safety zone blitz. And in my R1 audible here, I'm going to put um, cover three cloud show two. So as you see here, these are kind of the main plays. Now, if you wanted to, you could change free safety zone blitz to a couple of other options. You could change it to any other cover three play. So cover three buzz spy, for example. If you really wanted to, you could even change it to a cover four drop contain. The reason I don't love cover four drop contain is just because I feel like it's um, the blitz angles aren't very good in it and you can kind of create the coverage. But cover four drop would be a good, a good thing to have down there as well. You could also put in there cover six show four if you wanted to. So those are some kind of interchangeable options. Free safety zone blitz is the least important play in, these, in this group, in this pairing. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our coaching adjustments. We're going to put auto flip defense play call on off. Auto alignment, we're going to put that on base. Option defense on conservative. And then we're going to – you can uh, – a couple different options, guys. You could – do zone drops if you want to. I'm going to show you how to do this first. I'll start with the zone drop defense, and we'll kind of get into some other things as well that I really like out of this defense. So the first thing that you can do is put your flats on 30, your curl flats on 5, and I like to put my hook curls on 5. Okay, I think it just makes them play the shallow area of the field better. If you, you, know, you can leave these on default if you want, but in general, we could do this. Okay. Now, the whole system, the whole defense is built upon being a baseline defense. We're going to come out in the play, double safety go. And we're not going to call double safety go, but the reason we're calling this play is because both safeties are blitzing. Whenever in Madden you see safeties blitzing in your play art, it's something really important to register. Double safety go is better than coming out in free safety zone blitz or strong safety zone blitz because it's going to bring both of the safeties down. Whenever a safety is blitzing in the pre-play play art, that safety is going to come to the line of scrimmage unless you press your defense. So what you'll see is we come in and double safety go, and automatically these safeties come into the box. Now, if I press my defense, as you can see, the safeties will go back. That is what we don't want to do. We don't want to press our coverage. So now I'm going to audible to DB Fire 2, and as you can see, these safeties even stay back. I can't really reset that, right? Um, there is a way, but it's super slow, and your adjustments are going to be completely off, and you're going to get quick hiked. Quick hiked. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to audible, and we're never going to press our defense. If you press your defense, it really doesn't work well uh, for this. So we're going to audible to DB Fire 2. And as you can see, um, nobody's going to move. This is the purpose of baseline. Now, the one caveat to that, as I said in the beginning, sometimes players, when they are blitzing in the play, they move and they give a tell to the defense. One of the biggest principles for defense is to make everything look the same pre-snap and change the picture post-snap. That is to say, we are going to make everything look the same up front defensively, but we're going to change what happens post-snap to try to disguise what we're doing so that it, in, it increases the likelihood that your opponent's going to make a mistake. Okay? So, biggest thing is, as I said, pre-snap movement. So, if I pinch my D-line, you see here 
that this guy is going to move down to the line of scrimmage. This communicates to like really good players that you are in DB fire two, and then they can kind of basically say, okay, you're probably going to either send five or drop eight out of that coverage with standard adjustments. So what we do to get around that is we audible to DB fire two, and then we're going to put this, uh, these slot corners in curl flats, as you can see, and then when we pre when we pinch ready line, they're not going to move. So now I, I pretty much always like to use for the right side linebacker, and then we're going to crash our defensive line down. So the defense is completely set up. We have a little vert hook here over the middle of the field. You could change that to a mid read if you want to. But this is a very safe defense. You're going to be able to basically put zone brackets, Mabel coverage on both sidelines, and it's really good for taking away corner routes, flood concepts, things like things of that nature. This is a very safe defense overall, and your alignment is really – this is a really good alignment to run Mabel because the seam streak throw is really not going to be there, and these deep halves, they just play a lot in the middle of the field. They're almost picked it off. So we can do that. That's, that's kind of like coverage one. And the cool part about coverage one is you could do this right here, and then you could click onto this guy and use him. So you could have your – you could have – you know, five over three to the bunch side, three over two to the left side. It's going to create kind of a triangular coverage concept that brackets the sideline really well. And then your main responsibility is to use over the middle. Now, the reason that I'm blitzing my user and I'm kind of bringing him down here is it's going to put the green bar over his head. When you see that green bar over his head, that's going to indicate that you are engaging with the offensive line logic and it's going to make it so you get better sheds that's also why we're crashing down this crash down will also do a really good job of defending uh, kind of containing the run game so this is one really great way uh, to kind of run the defense so what we're going to do off of that is then you know let's say you know kind of drives going on okay we want to change the picture right we want to change the picture so what we're going to do is we're going to make it look very similar uh, to what we just showed but now we're going to change the picture behind it so same basic idea as you see we come out like this but now what we're going to do is we are going to audible to db fire 2 and if we if you remember right this guy was the guy that caused some problems when we pinched our line so what i like to do is I, i'll just take that guy and i'll put him on a zone and then i'll pinch my d line and then i'll blitz him again and the reason for that is just so as you can see he doesn't move and then pretty much everything else stays the same and what i like to do is this is where i'll really change the picture and get pretty aggressive so we'll go ahead and shade our coverage underneath maybe even cross man the tight end if we wanted to do something like that or just leave that vert hook shaded down and now we're able to kind of lurk here and they're sending five out but we oftentimes will get really good pressure from this pre-snap look Another way that we can change the picture is we can audible to, we could leave the line spread. So another thing we could do is we could come out DB fire two, shade underneath, and then we'll just leave the line spread. And this is one of the better blitzes in the game right now because oftentimes they're able to loop around those defensive tackles. Let's say you're in a third and long situation, like third and 15 or whatever. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just put this guy on the left in a mid ring and we're going to shade over top. So this is kind of a little bit more conservative defense. But what this is going to do is going to kind of give everything up underneath, but they're not going to be able to throw over the top with deep posts and crossers and things of that nature. Another great way to change the picture then would be to audible to cover three cloud show two. So the cool part about cover three cloud show two is nobody really moves. When you pinch your D line, you see nobody really moves. So this is really simple to set up. And then all you really have to do here is we're gonna put the right side guy on a vertical hook. We're gonna shade underneath and then we're gonna re-cloud that outside player. So the cool part about this, this is gonna do a really good job against those double corner concepts. Again, we're just changing the picture post snap from what they might think it is. Another really cool adjustment you can do if you want is to put a curl flat with a deep half on that backside. That deep half is gonna do a really good job of defending double post. So if they're trying to hit this double post post, you see how that deep half's there, and with a KO ability, that's gonna be a knockout, all right? So really like that, really like that ability uh, to do that. Another thing that I do to, to change the picture is we'll audible to spinner. One of my favorite things about spinner is when you do that, nobody moves. So when I pinch my D-line, nobody moves, especially against bunch. So what we can do here is we can get into some scissor type of adjustments. So what I like to do is just simply man this guy up on the right on the tight end. And again, we've changed the picture. Now we're in man-to-man -man coverage, right? But it looks exactly the same. So we've gone from a seven, you know, cover zero blitz, heavy pressure, 
to heavy coverage. Another thing you can do from Spinner that I really think is an underrated thing you could do is again, we're gonna change the picture, but the way we're gonna do it is util with the utilization of some cross manning with some cloud flats on the outside. This is really good for defending corner routes, or if you wanted to, you could put it outside third on one side, and then you could put a cloud on the other side. I think these are really good adjustments for the overarching picture of how we're gonna go about defending you know, really the best formation in the game. And of course, you're going to be kind of playing that robber in the middle of the field. So there's a lot of different ways in which you can change the picture behind the coverage to make your defense significantly better. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you guys want to learn the entire system of how to run this defense at its most optimal level, make sure that you're in our Patreon and check out my entire revamped dollar three two defensive ebook. You get all the ebooks by being a member. You'll be able to see how the game has progressed throughout the entire season. And I believe that everything we have in the Patreon is just designed to get you at a level where you can start winning more games. So if you want to become a better Madden player, head down to the description and go join the Patreon at the link down below.